Hello. Welcome to the beautiful island of Saipan. Today we are at Pao Pao Beach. Our practice today will focus on all of the chakra system. We'll begin at our root chakra and move our way up our spine to the third eye chakra. We're going to begin in seated cross-legged position. Gently place your hands on your knees. I want you to lightly close your eyes. Breathe in. And exhale. Breathe in. And exhale. Bring your attention to the base of your spine. We're going to start at the root chakra. Visualize the color red. As you breathe in, imagine a ball of red light glowing at the base of your spine. This red light from the energy of the root chakra brings us stability and security. On the next inhale, slowly move up to the sacral, sacral chakra. This is just below our navel, and it's associated with the color orange. Breathe in. Feel that orange light radiate throughout our body. The sacral chakra is associated with happiness and creativity. On your next inhale, move further up the spine to the center of your abdomen. Focus on the color yellow. This is our solar plexus. Our solar plexus is associated with our strength, our determination, our willpower. Breathe in. And exhale. Now, move your awareness to the center of your chest. Visualize the color green. This is our heart chakra. Our heart chakra is associated with generosity and love. As you breathe in, imagine that ball of green energy glowing, expanding throughout your body and into the world around you. On the next inhale, bring your awareness up to your throat. This is your throat chakra. Imagine the color blue, a ball of blue energy at the center of your throat. This is where we find our voice. We want to focus on integrity, honesty, and clarity in our voice today. Breathe in. Imagine that ball of blue energy glowing in your throat. And as you exhale, imagine that blue energy being sent forth into the world. Finally, bring your awareness up to the space between your eyes. This is our third eye chakra. Visualize the color purple. As you breathe in, see that purple energy glowing in intensity. This is our source of intuition. This purple energy is our guide. Trust in that guidance and trust in your intuition. In one more deep breath. Exhale and slowly open your eyes. On your next inhale, we're going to move into child pose. You may choose to keep your knees together or do wide legged child's pose. Breathe in, reach forward, lowering yourself to the ground. On your next inhale, make your way to tabletop, and then step your feet forward to the outside of your hand. 
for wide-legged squat. Bring your palms together at your chest and gently press your knees wide. And breathe in. And exhale. ground and raise your hips. Walk your feet in close, halfway lift, and forward fold. Continue to focus on your breath, breathing in, and exhale. On your next inhale, bring your arms up and hands to heart. Breathe in, arms up. Dive down. Halfway lift. Step back and raise your arms for warrior one. Open wide to warrior two. Sink low, making sure to keep your knee, your front knee open. You wanna be able to see your big toe if you look down. Keep your trunk tall. You don't wanna be leaning forward or backwards. Imagine that you're in the present moment not leaning too forward into the future or into the past. On your next inhale, bend your front arm and rest it on your knee. Raise your back arm overhead and look up to the sky for a right angle. You may choose to stay here or you can deepen the pose by reaching down to the ground and rotating your arm up and over your head. So your arm is next to your ear. On your next inhale, bring your elbow back up to your knee. On your next inhale, bring yourself back up to warrior two. Then windmill your arms down and chaturanga. Breathe in, up dog. Exhale, down dog. On your next inhale, raise your right leg. Step through to warrior one on the other side. Breathe in, arms up. Open up to warrior two. Sink low. Exhale, elbow to your knee.
on your inhale, bring yourself up to your knee. Then up to warrior two. Windmill your arms down. Chaturanga. Up dog. And down dog. Look between your hands and lightly hop or step between to the front of your mat. Forward fold. Breathe in arms up. And hands to heart. Bring your hands to your hips. We're gonna step wide into wide-legged forward fold. Gently point your toes out, hands on your hips. Hinge at your hips and lean forward. Place your hands on the ground. Breathe in. And exhale. Bring yourself down. On the next inhale, begin to raise yourself up. Stop halfway, place your hands on your hips. Then return to stand. Heel toe your feet in, and then with one big step, return to the front of your mat. Hands to heart. Breathe in, arms up, and dive down. Halfway lift. Step back with your right foot, raise up to warrior one and open to warrior two, and sink low. On your inhale, straighten your front knee. Shift your hips back while you reach forward with your front hand. And then begin to tilt your body to bring your front hand down to the ground and your back hand up to the sky for triangle. Breathe in. And exhale. Imagine between, you're between two panes of glass, gently pressing you into a single line. Shoulders stacked over shoulders, hips stacked over hips. On the next exhale, look towards the ground. And on your inhale, raise yourself up. Sink back down in your front knee for warrior two. Windmill your arms down. Chaturanga. Up dog. And down dog. Breathe in, raise your right leg. Step through, warrior one. Open to warrior two. Straighten your front knee, shift your hips back and reach forward with your arms. And then tilt to reach towards the ground and towards the sky. towards the ground. On your inhale, raise yourself up. Sink forward into your knee. Exhale, windmill your arms down to the ground. And chaturanga. Breathe in, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Look between your hands. And gently hop or step to the front of your mat. Forward fold. Breathe in, arms up. 
hands to the heart. Take a deep breath. And exhale your hands to your hips. Again, we're gonna step wide. Point your toes out to the side and gently sink low. We're going to do goddess pose. Sinking low into our hips. Sway in your hips a moment. Find center. Raise your arms. Elbows are bent and fingers are reaching towards the sky. Breathe in. And exhale. on your hips, straighten your legs, and step forward to the front of your mat. Hands to heart center. Breathe in, arms up, and dive down. Halfway lift. Step back to high lunge. Breathe in, arms up, and then bring hands to heart center. We're going to do a twist. We're going to bring your right elbow the outside of your left knee. You can stay here or you can open your arms. Bring your hands back to heart center and rotate yourself forward. Breathe in, arms up, and down to the ground. Step your left foot back to plank, lower chaturanga. Up dog, and down dog. This time raise your left leg, step forward, high lunge. Hands to heart center, and twist Up dog, and down dog. Raise your right leg, step through, high lunge. Bring your hands to heart center. Bring your left elbow to your right knee, and twist. Stay here, or open your arms. Back to center, arms up, and down. Step back to plank, chaturanga, up dog, and down dog. Look between your hands, hop or step to the front of your mat, forward fold. Breathe in, arms up. And hands to heart. Breathe in, arms up. And dive down. Halfway lift. Step back, warrior one. Arms up. From here, we're going to move into warrior three. So place your hands on your hips. And lean forward into your left leg. Straighten your left leg and raise your right leg up from the ground. Extend your arms behind you for Flying Warrior. Place your hands on your hips. Gently return to stand. Hands to heart. Breathe in, arms up and dive down. 
halfway lift. Step back with your left leg. Warrior one. Hands to hip. Begin to shift your weight forward. And raise your left leg. Reach your arms back. We're finding our strength in our solar plexus in this pose. Hands to hips to stand up. And our confidence to fly. Hands to heart. Breathe in, arms up. And dive down. Halfway lift. Step back to high lunge. Arms up. This time we're gonna sweep our arms back behind us, interlacing our fingers, reach back, and open our hearts. arms back up to the sky and then down to the ground step back chaturanga up dog and down dog raise your right leg step through to high lunge arms up and again sweep those arms back interlace your fingers and open your heart Breathe in, arms up, and down. Chaturanga, up dog, and down dog. One more time, look to your hands, and hop or step to the front of your mat. Forward fold, breathe in, arms up. We're now going to make our way to our floor. Paws on your knees for camel pose. For camel pose, we're going to place our hands on the back of our hips as if we're putting our hands into our pockets. Press your hips gently forward as you begin to arch your back. Lean back into the pose. Feel your heart open and feel your throat open. and slowly lift yourself back up. We're going to do that one more time. You may choose to stay as we just were or reach down for your ankles. Breathe in, shift your hips forward, arch back, and reach down for your ankle. Always pushing your hips forward. back on your hips and bring yourself forward. Cross your feet behind you and sit down on your mat. Now roll over our feet and get ready for boat pose. In boat pose, we're going to start with our arms straight in front of us. Shift back so you can lift your leg. Your knees may be bent or if you feel the strength in your solar plexus, you can choose to straighten your legs.
Gently lower your feet to the ground. Shift your hips forward slightly. Place your hands on your knees and lower yourself to the ground. We're going to do bridge pose. For bridge, bring your heels in close to your bottom so your fingertips are just touching them. On your next inhale, you're going to lift your hips, gently rolling up vertebrae by vertebrae. You may choose to interlace your fingers and walk your shoulders underneath to get a deeper stretch. Breathe in. Slowly lower yourself back down to the ground, vertebrae by vertebrae. You may choose to do bridge again, or you may choose to do wheel. If you choose to do wheel, place your hands beside your ears with your fingers towards your toes. Push yourself up. And press weight into your hands and your feet. Breathe in. Gently lower yourself, tucking your head. Bring your hands back down to your side. We are now going to move into shoulder stand. For shoulder stand, you're going to rack your legs up over you, helping with your hands to raise your legs up to your scat to the sky. You're trying to make yourself a straight line with your toes above your knees, knees above your hips and hips above your shoulders. Feel your breath move through your throat chakra in this pose. From here, we're going to move into plow. Slowly bring your feet over your head until they touch the ground. If your toes touch the ground, you may release your hands and gently place them on the ground behind you. Again, feel the constriction in your throat as your breath moves through your throat chakra. Place your hands back on your back. Raise one leg, raise the other, and slowly lower your hips. And then begin to slowly lower your legs to the ground. Bend your knees. With your arms, help to raise yourself up to seating. We're going to open our legs wide or wide leg forward fold with a side bend. I want you to place your left hand, right hand, sorry, 
I want you to place your right hand on the ground next to your right leg. Sweep your left hand up and over and place it next to your ear. Reach for your foot. If you can, grasp your toe and relax. Breathe in and exhale. Breathe in and exhale. On your next inhale, come back up to center. Bring your left hand to your left leg. Sweep your arm up and over. And reach for your toe. Rotating your chest open to the sky. On your inhale, bring yourself back up to center. We're gonna cross our legs, bring your right leg over top of your left so that your knees are in line with each other and your feet are by your hips. Bring your arms up overhead and then bring your right arm so your elbow is underneath of your left. Wrap your hands around to touch palms. Breathe in and exhale. You may stay here or you may bend slightly forward. On your inhale, sit up tall. Unwrap your arms. Rock back on your hips and we're gonna switch the cross of our legs. Breathe in, arms up. And left elbow under right. Wrap your hands, palms touching. Breathe in. And exhale. Stay here or lean forward. Breathe in, sit up, and unwrap your arms, and uncross your legs. We're going to straighten our legs out in front of us for our final forward fold. Breathe in, arms up, and lower yourself down to reach for your feet. On your inhale, roll yourself slowly up to sitting. And then slowly lower yourself down to the ground. Find the center of your mat and bring your knees into your chest. Give them a slight hug. Thank you. 
We're now going to release into our last pose, our final pose of Shavasana. Rotate your hands so your palms are facing the sky and let your legs and your feet gently roll open. Let your breath return to its normal rhythm. Once again, we're gonna bring our awareness to each of our chakras. Visualize that ball of red energy at the base of your spine. Slowly move up and find the orange fire just below your navel. Move up to the center of your abdomen. Find that yellow energy of strength and determination. Breathe in and move your awareness up to your heart chakra. Ball of green energy. Moving up to the blue throat chakra at the center of your throat. Finally up to your purple third eye chakra, the space between your eyes. Inhale, slowly bring awareness back to your body. Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Raise your arms overhead. Give yourself a full body stretch. Gently bring your legs into your chest and once again give them a nice hug. Bring yourself up to sit. Cross legged -like seated position at the front of your mat. Bring your hands together at your heart. Breathe in. And exhale. Our final chakra is our crown chakra. As you close your eyes, visualize a beam of white energy from the crown of your head, extending out into the world around you. This is your connection from yourself to the world. Let that energy be strong and positive. Breathe in and exhale. Thank you for joining me at the mat today. Namaste.